We're not really going to give in to his demands, are we? Rarity asked. They all left the waxy throne room to continue their meeting in the map room. We may not have a choice, Twilight said. Discord fought this out very well. I need my horn for the elements, but the only way I can get it back is if we don't use the elements to stop him. Fighting peace in the land with no ponies around may will not be difficult, though. What about the fur deal? Applejack inquired. She sighed. Discord knows how desperate we are to get the princesses back. But we can't just hand over some pony to be his wife, Rarity exclaimed. We might as well make a sacrifice to the devil. You said that the bride has to go willingly, and I think we should announce the citizens to see if any pony is willing to say take such a sacrifice. Fluttershy had been silent the entire time. She couldn't get over the fact that Discord had been there, and the way that he had spoken to her, touched her, looked at her, it gave her shivers and she told herself that she was being paranoid. If that was the case, why didn't he seem to single her out? We should at least accept the first tombs of the first two, Twilight decided. If I had my magic, we would be able to find another solution, and it would be easier to think that we aren't just pigs flying outside. Every pony nodded in agreement. What about Cadence? Shiny Armor asked. And our daughter. I want her back too, Shiny Armor, his sister reassured him, but have to sacrifice one of our own. I don't like the idea of this either, but Discord has a point. Instead of losing four, we would only have to lose one, and I don't know how long Cadence would last. She's strong. No matter what her conditions are, she'll always be able to pull through. Celeste and Luna will be strong too. Wherever they are, I'm sure they're holding out. Do you want me to get married? Luna scoffed after Discord told him his plan. Who in the world would want to marry you? Go ahead and laugh, Discord said, rolling his eyes. I just thought you would want to know what your lives are going to cost. You will never get away with this, Discord, Celestia bellowed. Yes, yes, the whole time you will never get away with this speech. I will respond with the usual comeback, oh, but I will. Any other cliches you would like to point out, Celestia? Will you just wait until Shiny Armor gets here, Caden snapped. You mean Prince Good-for-Nothing, who always needs his baby sister to come and save the day? She growled and lashed out with her hooves through the bars of the cage. This court simply laughed. Oh, you three are just so too amazing. Either of you willing to save the others accept my proposal? Luna spat at him while Celestia shouted, Never! And I'm already married, creep! Celestia barked. Yeah, I was just asking, Discord said innocently. A voice had called from outside the cave. Discord! The Draconic Quest look. Oh, would you look at that. Sorry to leave you girls, but I have a meeting. With the wave of his paw, the cage vanished and went back to his visitor. Twilight Sparkle and her five companions were standing outside the entrance. Ah, my old friends. Have you made your decision already? Yes, Twilight said definitely. She turned her head and nodded. Spike emerged from behind her. They're bearing a jewel crested case, and he hesitantly stepped forward and placed the box right in front of the Draconoquist. We will accept our terms and promise never to use our elements of harmony against you, and to show you that we are serious about this. Spike opened the case to reveal the five necklaces and the crown inside. Discord raised his eyebrows in surprise. I appreciate the gesture, but keep them. I don't want these things anywhere near me. He shoved the case with his foot and backed away as if it was on fire. What about my piece of land? The castle ruins in the Everfree Forest, Twilight stated. You may do whatever you like there, and no pony will disturb me. No pony, as long as you can find with your mischief within that area. And will that barrier be? Marked by the rope bridge. Discord clapped his hands. Excellent, but who is the lucky mare I'm marrying? Twilight glanced away. Well, if you're going to have sent some pony to marry the looks of you, you want your princesses back. And you give me what I want, he sighed. I am a creature of my world. He snapped his fingers, blinding every pony with a white flash. And within the light, he was gone. Twilight's horn was back on her head, and the chaos was outside have seized. I have all the time in the world to wait, Discord said. The princesses, however, will give you anything, Twilight pleaded. Please, just don't hurt them. I told you, when my demands are met, they go free. Why not you save some of you all to have give yourself up? What are you talking about? Rainbow demanded. Any of you. I don't care which one, but if any some pony comes, doesn't come forward soon, I will just have to make the decision myself. How about I give you, he tapped his chin, three days. Isn't there anything else you want? Twilight Blades asked. Look, it's a bride or no deal. Got that? But I think we're done here. He zapped himself out of the cave, leaving the distressed ponies behind. We wouldn't accept anything else? Shiny Armor asked. He'll take a bride, enough but nothing, and 
Twilight repeated solemnly. And he had just announced Discord's quest to Canterlot that morning. So far, no pony is willing to accept such a fate. What do we have to do now? Applejack wondered. Twilight sighed. We made a promise to not use the elements against him, and if we break it, he's free to do ever what he likes. Unless we blast him before he does anything, Rainbow suggested. He's the only one who knows the princesses are. If we turn him into stone, we may never get them back. Why haven't they tried contacting us? Scootaloo asked. I mean, Celestia sends you messages through Spike and Luna can enter dreams. Neither of them have their horns, which means the realization hit her. They can't raise the sun or moon. Not even without Discord's chaos or either Equestria's not stand a chance without them. And without the sun, none of the crops will grow. And who knows how long the moon will start and stay out without Luna's magic. We could all be facing internal darkness. What about you, Sweet Bell inquired? Aren't you a princess? I can't raise the sun, but do you know how powerful you have to be to accomplish that? I just... I just... Tears streamed down her face. Shine armor pleased a reassuring hoof on her. Don't worry, we'll get them back. We'll get them all back. We just have to solve this dilemma. He looked towards the others. I know, and no pony wants to spend an eternity with that, that monster. But we have to think. I should go. Every pony stared at Twilight. This all happened with a question under my rule. I should put this well-being subjects before myself. I won't allow it, hurts, her brother insisted. But Cadence would not stand a chance for it. I want her back as much as you do. But I don't want to lose my little sister in the print process. For the sake of my friends, Rarity declared, I believe I should go. No, Sweetie Belle cried, hanging to her leg. I need you, big sister. And what will mom and dad say? Applejack took off her hat. I should go. Don't even think about it, Apple Bloom demanded. We need you at Sweet Apple Bull Acres. The orphans need you too. Me then? Rainbow Dash questioned. A desperate hug from Scootaloo dismissed the idea. What about me? Pinky asked seriously. Which was out of character for her. I mean, I really like his chocolate milk rain. But that may be the case, Pinky, Rainbow said. But how come you're married? The others intrigued. Fluttershy had dealt with internal arguments of her own. She did not dare to say what she would, knowing that her friends would just dismiss them. They all had reasons before staying behind. Responsibilities and family, what did she have? They were her animals and friends, but the happiness that would bring them them to live in the darkness for the rest of their lives would happiness be if she bring them what she has left every pony quiet down as apple jack leapt onto the chart table look it's been a long night for all of us i say we should get some sleep and this can be done tomorrow they all agreed and retired to their rooms it was happening again it was dark and she was in his arms his lion fingers were running through her pink mane even though she was new as a dream sent chills up her spine why won't she just go away? She squeaked. The captor's cackle echoed for the darkness. My dear, don't you understand? I'm in your mind because you keep me there. Well, I don't want you here. Go away! He chuckled as he turned his face inches away from her. What are you waiting for, my dear? You know what I have to do. You know I have the favor over the others, so do it. No, she struggled to get free from his grasp. I don't, I don't. She then whispered into his ear, If you don't do it, who will? Fluttershy then woke up with a start. She placed her hoof on her head and whimpered, I can't do it, she thought. I just can't. What will the others think? She could not go back to sleep, so she went down to the kitchen to grab a snack. She screamed when she bumped into someone, causing him to fall and drop a tray of food. What in tarnation, Fluttershy? The Pegasus squinted at every pony and gasped, Oh, Applejack, I'm so sorry. You startled me. The Salvern Pony rubbed her head as she got up. It's okay. I guess you can't sleep either, huh? She shook her head. Nightmare again? She nodded. This time, it was different. He spoke to me. He was... He was... Calm down. You can... You can tell... Well, what? After I clean up this mess, I'll make us both some apples and peanut butter. Sound good? Fluttershy sniffled and nodded with a smile. As they ate, she told Applejack about her dream, and her friend listened intentionally. You're letting this friend of the princesses get to you. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. The Pegasus looked down at her hooves. Applejack, I can tell you a secret. The cowgirl sighed. Fluttershy, you know I am bad at keeping secrets, which is beating me the element of honesty and all. I'm a terrible liar. You don't have to lie. Just don't mention it to any pony. Okay, but why me? Well, I got a very shocking secret, and Twilight would be against it. Rarity would overreact. Rainbow Dash would tell me it's a bad idea, and Pinky will... 
All right, just get it over. What is this secret? First, you gotta promise me not to tell any pony and not to freak out. I promise. Pinky promise? She sighed. Cross my heart and hope to fly. Stick a cupcake in my eye. Fluttershy glanced down the window, then gestured to come closer. I'm thinking of... The rest of was audible. Come again? I'm... This time it was quieter. I can't hear you. I'm thinking of going with Discord, she shouted. Applejack choked on her apple. What? You said you wouldn't freak out. I had no idea you were... She stopped and took a deep breath. You're right. I promise I wouldn't. But still, how could he even consider going with that monster? If I don't go, who will? Fluttershy, you... Do you hear yourself? We need Princess Celestia and Luna to bring night and day and Cadence with child. Discord won't let them go unless some pony makes th takes their place. I think that pony should be me. No, you shouldn't. You can't. I'd rather go instead of you. But you have your family to take care of, and the orphans, they look up to you. Twilight has a crown, and Shining Armor and Rarity have their shop, and Sweetie Belle and Raven Rainbow Dash is a Wonderbolt, and Pinkie Pie's doing has a job at Sugar Cube Corner just to make every pony smile. I have no pony, I propose. What are you talking about? Of course you do have a purpose. The animals back in Ponyville depend on you. Some pony else can just take care of them. I and don't think you have any ponies? She pushed her hoof around her. You've got lots of friends who would be heartbroken if you left. But suppose no pony agrees to marry Discord. I would all the ponies and the animals be better instead of them. Applejack paused. Well, I... Well, if my dreams are a sign, what if this is my fate? Fluttershy, your fate is not to be unhappy for the rest of your life life tied to that creature why not she snapped can't you see no matter what i choose i'll always be unhappy you don't really believe that do you the pegasus buried her face in her hooves i just don't know no i just don't know applejack patted her back i think we should go talk to twilight she her head shot up no you pinky promised but she'll know what to do no she'll just say it's a bad idea okay but hear me out I don't like this decision you're making, but we need to at least talk some pony for some advice. Some pony abolished the judgment. Who? Applejack fought for a moment and then lit up. Sakura, she always has good advice. Maybe she can help. You mean, Fluttershy gulped, I have to go to the Everfree Forest? Don't worry, I'll come with you. Look, I don't know if it'll do us any good, but it's worth a shot. The Pegasus looked up at her friend and then nodded. Okay, then. I hope we don't run into any timber wolves. Fluttershy quivered as she and her friend judged through the Everfree Forest. Don't worry, Applejack reassured her. If we come across one of those critters, I'll take care of them. They approached the tree of the zebra's tree and knocked on the door. Who's coming to say hi? Sakura asked as she opened the door. Why, it's dear Applejack and Fluttershy. Why don't you come in with me and have some tea? She poured them both a cup of tea and eased their nerves a bit. Isn't it wonderful to see your place now? What brings you here to my place? Fluttershy was too nervous to speak. So Applejack explained for her. You may have noticed Discord's back. The zebra narrowed her eyes and stomped her hoof on the table. I am fully aware of that creature's in town. When I came to find my hut upside down, the sovereign pony glanced over at the mess of the broken bottles and turned over the furniture. Yeah, I could see that. I am sure you heard of his demands. The zebra Zakora nodded. The news in Equestria travels fast. That just happens to be passed by my ear, as Discord said he would like a mare to wed. That's correct. And if he doesn't get a bride by tomorrow, he'll hurt the princesses, Fluttershy added, fiddling with her cup. And I, well, Applejack finished. Fluttershy's thinking about being that mare. Zakora then looked at the Pegasus with white eyes. Is that so? You wish to go? Yes, she muttered. No, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I keep urging not to, Applejack said, but she thinks it's the only, she's the only one that can do it. That's why I brought her here. Sakura, can you talk into some sense in her? Perhaps I can lift your spirits up, Sakura said, holding out her hoof. But first I would need your teacup. Fluttershy handed the empty teacup and, Zico and the zebra studied the tea leaves carefully. For such a long time, I see, you have been most unhappy. The Pegasus hung her head. You are now haunted by your fear and the every creature that brings you here. Can you tell me from that her teacup? Applejack marveled. But look, Sakura showed the cup to Fluttershy and pointed out a picture of the sun that was made by the leaves. In your future, I see great happiness and if you go with this draconic quest. What? The sovereign pony grabbed her the teacup. How could that possibly be happy with Discord? He may not be the angel from above. Perhaps Discord is just needs someone to love. Love? That varmint? Now I know you're making this up. You mean, Fluttershy stammered, he just wants some pony to love him? Sakura shrugged. 
I could be mistaken, but I assure you if this path was taken, no harm will be brought up upon you. And yet, it could be that Discord is unhappy too. I haven't thought about that. Applejack stamped her hoof. Just because there's no way in the world Equestria would like a creature like him ever would. Do you not remember what you thought of me? Sakura interrupted. When you came crashing in through my tree, you were not the judgments of me wrong. And yours in that massive throng. That, would, that, that was different. We didn't know you back then, but Discord, he's terrible. Don't you know what he did to us? You know what he did to Fluttershy? What he's going to do to the princesses? Sakura waved her words away and smiled at Fluttershy. The key to happiness is to show kindness. The Pegasus looked at the zebra's reassuring face and grinned slightly. I know, Applejack. We shall see what's in your tea. She peered up at her tea. I think I'll pass, thank you, the sour pony said. Really? Do you not want me to help on a like your complex with, with Spike? How did you? Applejack blushed. I mean, I told you coming up here was just a waste of time. Come on, Fluttershy. As the Pegasus followed her friend out the door, she turned back to the zebra. Tell me, Zakora, is this what you said about Discord true? Perhaps, perhaps not, she repeated coolly. But perhaps it's worth a shot. Fluttershy then nodded and then thanks and stepped outside. The two friends were quiet on their stroll back. Until Fluttershy recognized a certain part of the wood. Would. Abruptly, she flew down the pinch and Applejack raced after her. Fluttershy, what are you? They stopped at the gorge, a rickety rope bridge hanging in front of them. The other side was a dark floating castle. Discord had obviously fixed up the ruins and made himself like at home. Fluttershy just stared at it in wonder. If she made this decision, this would be what she spent the rest of her days. I think we should get out of here, Applejack whispered. Her friend nodded and followed back. Fluttershy, the sour pony, said seriously. I know what you're thinking, but you can't do it. Don't you suppose Zakora was lying? Flush asked. I'm not recalling Zakora a liar. It's Discord I don't trust. What if she's right? What if Discord just wants some pony to love? I mean, why else would he ask for a bride? All those years, I bet he's never had a friend. Well, he should have thought about that before he took over Equestria and messed up every pony's lives. Applejack, some pony has to go with him. What choice do I have? There is plenty, plenty of other ponies in Questia. It doesn't have to be you. But how many do you think is willing to go? I well, this is my choice, Applejack. I could take care of myself. I know you can, Sugar Cube. I've seen you face up to the Manticore and an all-grown dragon, but this gourd, she sighed. Look, I just don't want you to get hurt. And I know the others don't want to lose you to that. If I don't go, the sun may never rise again and Caden's Betty baby will never be born. Applejack, it's either me or all of Equestria. Applejack just stared up at her friend with blurry eyes and then hung her head. It's your decision, Sugar Cube. I'm not going to stop you, but you do realize that I have to tell the others of what you did. Right? I'm sorry. No, they how don't they have the right to know? Just promise me this. If no pony comes forth by tomorrow, then you may do as you wish. Flesh embraced her friend. I knew you understand, Applejack. She then pulled away, slight smile smugly. And so what do you think about Spike? Applejack turned red. It's nothing, really. It's just a pony crush. Nothing more. When did this happen? When you saved me from those timber wolves last year, it was going off. And it kind of was embarrassing, but you can't tell any pony or any dragon, you hear? Flesh I giggled. Cross my heart and hope to fly. Stick a cupcake in my eye. Was Sakura any help? Twilight asked once the others returned to Canterlot. Applejack hesitated, but they told her they were visiting Sakura, and they gave him the details. Uh, she gave us some advice. Some pony has to come forth yet? The alicorn shook her head. No, I tried the princess's filing division spells, but I have no luck so far. Flourish, I said nothing and headed towards the room. Applejack caught up before she could close the door. Flourish, I, she called. Whatever you choose, I just want to know. She turned to her. Yes? You, you may just be the bravest pony I've ever known. Flush I smiled, knowing it was the truth to her, and that means a lot to Applejack. That night she dreamt of Discord, and the words that Zakora has spoken. He may not be an angel from above, but perhaps Discord made some pony to love. These words smoothed her. The more she thought about it, the less worried she was, and she was still terrified, though not much as before. She liked to think it was all true. What if Discord was just a creature that just needed to be tamed? like the manticore and the dragon. Even if Zakora hadn't been right, some pony needed to go. So Fluttershy woke that morning. She knew exactly what she needed to do. Twilight gazed out of the window. The sun had been rising for three days, and the stars and the moon were starting to fade. It would be nothing but darkness. 
and the deadline was near. A cry from Rainbow Dash interrupted her thoughts. Twilight, Twilight, you gotta come quickly. What is it? The princess demanded. It's Fluttershy, she's gone. Twilight didn't waste another second and followed the Pegasus to Fluttershy's room. Rarity, Pinkie Pie, ja Applejack, and Spike surrounded the empty bed. The dragon held a note in his claws. The alicorn removed it with her magic and read it out loud. Dear friends, I am very sorry, but this is the only way. Do not come after me, as this was my choice. Applejack will explain. Please take care of my an animals, especially Angel. Tell them I am sorry. Love, Fluttershy. Every pony turned suspectively towards Applejack. Do you know anything about this? Twilight asked. The cowgirl stomped her hoof. She did it. She's gone and did it. I tried to talk her out of it. I really did, but she made the pinky promise to not tell you all before she did it. Calm down, Applejack. What happened? She took a deep breath and looked at them with tears in her eyes. Fluttershy stood at the cave entrance. A part of her was telling her to turn back, but another part telling her to go in. She had to do this for her friends, and for the princesses, for Equestria, she inhaled deeply and walked in. It was dark, but it was not frightened as she had the feeling that it was going to jump out at any moment. Stop it, Fluttershy, she told herself. You need to be brave. Hello, she called out weakly. Anyone home? Well, well, well. She yelped in surprise and spun around to see the Draconica standing over her. If it isn't the element of kindness herself, how nice of you to drop in. Suddenly the ground beneath her began to disappear and Fluttershy screamed and fell through the hole. Oh, she then landed with a bump and looked out to see that the lands at the same spot she had fallen. How did I? She stammered. Discord laughed manically. Oh, that was priceless. He wiped a tear. So what brings you here, my dear? Come to negotiate some more? Fluttershy shrugged to stand, but her knees were shaking. Well, I have come to negotiate something. Strange that Twilight will send you to reason with me. Well, you can tell your precious princess that I will only take a bride, and that's final. And a bride you shall have. Discord then stared at her, shocked out of sudden outbursts. Is that so? Well, who's lucky mare? Her teeth started chattering. Right here. He blinked. Say again. Flesh had closed her eyes and strained up. I will be your bride. For a long while, there was silence, and she opened her eyes to see a full face of confusion. Then he erupted into a roar of laughter. <laughs> I get it. This is a joke, right? All right. Who put up to this toilet? Maybe that prankster Pinkie Pie? She did not respond. Rainbow Dash? They don't even know I'm here. Well, they should be by now. I left them a note. Why would you leave them a... His laughter then was faded when study of Pony's face. You're serious about this, right? She nodded solemnly. You... He would have expected her for her. The Pegasus was afraid of her own shadow to accept his offer. Actually, she was beginning to think that no pony would come forth at all. Yes, she squeaked. And no pony put you up to us? She shook her head. Well, this was my decision. She backed away nervously. If you'd rather have po some pony else... No, hold on. She jumped as she as he appeared from in front behind her. I didn't say I wasn't interested. He started circling her. Studied her carefully from every angle. Fluttershy shut her eyes and stood still. Her heart was racing and she flinched and sniffled at her mane. But she did not. She did try not to react. Discord had to admit for any pony. She wasn't that bad looking. Her silky pink mane was well groomed and the smell of roses. Her big teal eyes, though closed now, were almost adorable. Her voice was such sweet as honey. This might have been some trick of some sort. But there was no way this pony could have done something to come over free will. But he knew this wasn't a trickster. Besides, he was going to get another chance like this. You'll do, he said with an indifference. But you are, are you certain that this is what you want, my dear? Remember, if you agree to this, there is no going back. Flash, I looked up at him boldly. If I go with you, will you keep promises and let the princesses go? My dear, he said with a bow. You have my word. And my friends, we'll never hear from thee again, she gulped, nor me. He stooped towards her and his face inches from hers. Think of it this way. You could spend an eternity living comfortably in my in-state and cater to your every need, or you could spend the rest of your day in a short life in a world of darkness. Cater to my every need? If we were to be married, what's mine, it's yours. If it's in my power, I shall give you whatever you desire. Call it insensitive. She could not tell if he was being serious, being a, f a third or whatever. She had desired to sound tempting. But why would she he do that for her? Perhaps the Cora was right? Maybe he was so desperate for a companion? Seeing that he was getting to her, he placed his hand on her shoulders. So will that be, my dear? It doesn't matter. Question needs the princess's return. She breathed in. 
I'll marry you. Excellent! He leapt excitedly into the air. Now where are the princesses? Instead of, instead of answering, he smirked. Why not we make an official? He, she then snapped his fingers in a materialized place box in his paw. He opened up, revealing a sparkling diamond ring. Oh dear, Flesh, I muttered. He chuckled. I'll ask again. Will you marry me, my dear Flesh? I... Flesh, I don't. The Pegasus turned turned to see Twilight running towards him with the others falling behind. You keep away from her, you creep, cried Rainbow Dash, her face filled with bloodlust. Discord stopped them all with his magic. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a proposal here. Put them down, Flesh, I begged. Please, just let me say goodbye to them. He rolled his eyes and released from his spell. Flesh, I watched towards Twilight's side. I told you not to come after me. But we couldn't let you go with him, the alicorn bellowed, pointing at occasionally at the Draconoquist. You don't understand. I have to do this. No, you don't. There has to be another way. If I don't do this, Equestria is doomed for all eternity, and Cadence will never have her baby. But you, do you have any idea what this monster might do to you? Rainbow shouted. No pony chooses my fate but me. Fluttershy, Rarity pleaded. You can't possibly marry this beast. Fluttershy dramatically put a third hand to his heart, pretending to look offended. I'm sorry, but this is my decision. But Fluttershy, Pinky Sniffle, will never see you again. She looked at her friend sadly. I know. We'll find another way to get the princesses back, Twilight insisted. I'll even go in your place, Will. She's right, Applejack interrupted. They all turned to her in shock. Flesh Eye is the only pony in control of her destiny. If her decision is to save Equestria, we should respect that decision. She walked up to her friend. You take care of yourself, do you hear? Flesh Eye nodded and embraced the Earth Pony. Make sure my animals get everything they need. Of course, Sugar Cube. Fluttershy, Rainbow started as she flew down here. You can't, you won't. She hugged her childhood friend. You stood up for me for all these times. Now I can do the favor. She hooved over to Rarity. You can keep my clothes if you like. The, owl, the unicorn was astonished. Darling, you can't expect me to. She stopped too and received a hug. Don't be silly, I'll donate them. They're not my size anyway. Fluttershy then turned to see the pink earth pony. Pinky eye, Pinky let out a small a wail while flung her hooves around her neck. Don't forget us, okay? I mean, if, I, if you'll never see us again, don't forget our names. I mean, it's easy to forget one's name after not seeing them for a while, and I won't forget you, Pinky. She then sniffed and hugged tighter. I know. Once Pinky loosened her grip, Fluttershy then turned to Spike. Before she could say anything, he wrapped his arm around her leg with a whine. Then she looked up at Twilight, who was at the verge of tears. I'll be fine, she reassured her. I promise. How could you be so sure to keep that promise? The alicorn choked. You know how I am with creatures. The rest, she said, was whispered. I think I can tame him. But, but, for Cadence. She nodded and embraced, dis embraced her. Discord was already starting to gag. Hello, he called, waving the ring box. I'm waiting for an answer here. Flesh Eye point pulled away from her friends and courageously faced the Draconoquest. She stuck at her hoof and uttered, yes. Flesh Discord smiled in triumph as he zapped the box away and the ring then appeared on the chain around Flesh Eye's neck. The Draconoquist cackled as he scooped down for his bride to be in his arms, and the ponies watched in horror. If you hurt her hair on the head, Rainbow warned, I assure you, he, she won't be harmed, as long as you don't try to take her back. Now if you'll excuse us, we have a wedding to plan. With a final trumpet laugh, Discord vanished with Fluttershy and, and their palace. The three princesses appeared. Their horns were restored back on their heads. What happened? Luna demanded. Where's Discord? The pony burst into tears. Applejack was the only one with the strength to speak. He's taken a bride. Their eyes widened. Who? Celestia asked, receiving a no response. She looked at her student. Twilight, who did he take? The purple alicorn buried her face in her hooves, knowing her friend was gone because of the failure as a princess. I'm sorry, Fluttershy. I'm so, so sorry.